Welcome to Yachting World's Heavy Weather Seamanship Series, produced in association with Pantaneous Yacht Insurance. We're about to approach a really confined anchorage, and to moor here safely, we need to put lines ashore, having anchored first. Skip Novak is going to show you, with the team on board, how this is done. Well, we're coming into a lovely little anchorage here called Port de Maxwell. It's only five miles northwest of Cape Horn. And it's a great place. It's very tight. Um, and uh, the wind in, in here tends to funnel from all directions. So you can't swing to a single anchor in this, in this particular place. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop an anchor, first of all, to just to balance ourselves, and then quickly get one line ashore for equilibrium. And then we'll put our spider web lines out. So we'll be sorted for any wind direction tonight. And it's a fantastic place. And it's just across the water, we're going to take a walk up the hill there this afternoon. You get a bird's eye view of Cape Horn from above. Okay, it's going to be a bit of a pull, just hang on to it. Okay. And what we're doing now is we're taking out our port bow line because we got an anchor down, one stern line. This is the port bow line over to a big boulder just to balance the boat more in the center of this pond here. Okay, Elaine, I'll try to get you close enough if you can somehow jump for that boulder. Right. right, okay, Elaine, if you grab the rope, watch the rocks, very slippery. I'm going to put this um, wire strop here. It's 11 millimeter galvanized wire onto the boulder. It's this bulldog gripped together there. You see, very simple loop. It's about a four meter loop. And we just sort of toss the whole thing over like that. The bigger the better, obviously. And then climb up here. Okay, and then we'll here, if you hand me the rope. And what we usually do on this thing is Rather than tie a bowline, do a round turn and two half hitches. Because it's always easier to t untie that because you got all the loads taken up by the round turn. And you can release it under load if you have to. Okay, made! Give him the signal on the boat to take in. We take some load, then we just check the strop that it's in a good position not about to fall off or the other thing is not to jam it in somewhere where it's going to get wedged and you can't get it out again. What we're going to do uh, Lane, we're going to try to go and uh, find another boulder, big boulder here to put a wire sling on and that'll be our starboard line. So we're sort of creating a spider web of lines to hold us in position here because the wind in this little place comes from every different direction so you're very unpredictable. Okay, dinghy secure. I'm going to step ashore and try to find a suitable boulder to tie to, and that'll be our uh, starboard bow line out. Well, we found a boulder that's more or less okay. I would have liked it to be a bit bigger. There are bigger ones uh, around. The problem is chafe. If you put your strop up high around a boulder and there's rocks below it, then your shoreline is going to saw through it as the boat tugs and pulls on it. So you want to get something near the shore or something so high that it flies above all the rocks in the foreground there. So Elaine, if you tie a round turn and two half hitches on there. And of course, sometimes you have to do clever things, uh, you know, put bo other boulders around some boulders to, to wedge them in. So you have to be quite creative. This is what I really love doing. I love this sort of thing. Right, last line. Starboard stern line, and I think we're do I think we're good. After Elaine and I got that last line ashore, we're all tacked down. That was about an hour and a half's work to get the boat pinned down. Now the payback is to do something like this. We're going to take a walk and do the summit of a little island next door. 
And this is what I really enjoy, this type of thing. Stretching our legs before a nice big dinner tonight.